Mosio Gunmark TV. We're going to show you today um, quite a significant gun for um, Virarc, uh, the big German manufacturer. Obviously they brought out their HW100 um, good few years back now, it's their first pre-charged pneumatic and you know, it's a great reception and it's sort of evident that they got the design right at the start because most of the features haven't changed a lot since uh, their first introduction so you know it's right first time really and it, it is a lovely bit of kit but of course they've cleverly brought out several versions mainly sort of stock variants etc but of course the the popularity uh, craving for ballpup models they couldn't sit back and ignore that you know entirely so they they brought out their B, uh, the hw100 bp standing for ballpup now this is the ballpup but the carbine version and <clears throat> it's a very neat little rifle as you can see it's got those sort of military overtones with the drop down pistol grip etc such a compact little gun it's it's a beauty so we'll just go through the through the features and uh, we'll show you what you've got here so obviously pretty well the conventional Bioarc HW100 action but obviously ballpup wise means it's the, it's the action set back towards the, the, end, the end of the stock but unlike some ballpups where literally you've got the bolt or side lever right at the back here, the, because of the way they've configured it, you've got the lever quite a way forward and then they'll set up a remote trigger system inside, um, but with a, with a you know, sort of extension levers, etc. So you've got the lever exactly where you want it and that means you can cycle it as we'll show um, in the shoulder and um, you know, whilst you're in the aim, which is, which is a big plus point. But sort of standard features, so it comes with a very nice um, silencer. And obviously, Viral, they've got a great reputation. One of their, in the air gun world, their silencer is one of the very best and most efficient going. So you've got the sort of uh, the secret hair, hair curler configuration inside, but it's, it really does work. So you've got a bit of dampening material, uh, baffles, etc. But yeah, great moderator. And um, <clears throat> that's a thread fit on a half inch UNF at the front. So you could change it, stick something else on if you want. Um, you've got to be careful. If you take that off, obviously your barrel's going to be very short and very near to where you're going to grip the action. So there's that safety element there, as there is with any um, short barreled gun. So just be be aware of that. So with the silencer on, you're, you're totally safe. If you take that off, you've then got to fit something on to extend it, I would say, just to be safe. But <clears throat> looking at elsewhere, um, it uses the probe system of charging so you'll have a filling adapter that will come with it that will all fit to your airline as usual it'll push in there you'll charge up the system normally about 200 bar on these and then make sure you put that nylon plug back in and you're never going to get any dirt in there you've got a manometer at the front obviously not the safest place as we keep saying on these but that you at least you've got it here so you can keep a check on the residual pressures Moving back, you've got the sort of intermount arrangement here because it's a bullpup. You've got to get that um, sight line higher because you're effectively going over the action. You know, as you can see, you've got your breech here, but actually under the cheek piece, so it raises the action up, etc. So you need that sight line just that bit higher. So they give you this great big rail, and obviously it's got the Picatinny style mounting, which is brilliant. And, you know that obviously that's that's the sort of a trend today but it's giving you those real positive uh, you know, fixing points for your scope etc moving back you've got a multi-shot system obviously we'll show you the magazine in a moment and um, filling process etc really slick side lever action and again i'll show you that in a minute and then you see you've got the drop down pistol grip very similar to that's probably the identical um, configuration actually to their hw44 the pneumatic pistol again a lovely lovely bit of kit but they've incorporated that here which is quite clever obviously it's handy for them production cost wise but it's also a very for me it's a really nice um, grip obviously you know it's not going to fit everybody perfectly but for me i've got quite large hands and i'm just sitting on that perfectly now you've also got a two-stage trigger it's a nylon blade but let's say that the, the trigger pull and the settings on these it's a really sweet unit and i'm you know as you may be aware i'm fairly boring and obsessed with triggers but i'm happy with this i, I love it um it's, it's an excellent trigger unit so say no more 
obviously synthetic uh, stock. You've got that sort of rubberized feel to it. This is a second-hand model, I should say, because as you might notice there's a lot of scuffs and a few scratches on it, but obviously it's been properly used. These are tools, these are hunting tools. So in a way, it's good to see it's actually been out there and someone's used it properly as it should do rather than just sitting in a cabinet. You've got a cheek piece cover here, which is nice. You've got ambidextrous safeties. So there's literally one on each side. That's manual, an adjustable butt pad. Now this is a really neat feature, simple Allen key access, and you can get that exactly right on your shoulder. So you, you're affecting your um, and tweaking your eye scope alignment. So that's great. Right, 14 shot magazine, 177 or 22 on this model. It's the sort of simple cast variety. So there's not much to go wrong with that in itself. The mechanism is all in the gun. So what we'll do, we'll pull back the side lever, which, and you can see there, it's actually spring assisted there on that. The tiniest bit extra pull, and you've cocked it, and it's very sweet in operation. Push that home into the slot. Push that catch for This locks the magazine. It's important to use that. And if it doesn't go, just wiggle your mag until it does, and it finds its slot. Then you're at the point where you can shut the lever. So what we'll do now, show you the system cycling and take a few shots. So we've got the mag in place, so I'm just going to show you, because of the way they've configured it, from the actual firing position, you can take your shots. So we're in there. And that's as quick, I mean I'm being pretty slow there but the system is as, as quick as you can cycle that lever and it's very smooth, really reliable. So as you've seen, a very slick action in operation and um, basically a tool built to do a job with all the pedigree and the quality that Viarart bring to the table. So that's the HW100BP carbine.